Welcome to another edition of the Master Bath Remodel. Have you ever looked at a cast iron tub and wondered just how you're going to get it out of there? Well, wonder no more because I've got the solution for you. At least one that doesn't involve paying somebody else to do it. No, 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 forget about that. With a little bit of sweat equity, this is something that's totally doable by yourself. Enough yapping, let's get on with it. Hey guys, I'm Anthony from Hammer and Pine, here to help you with your home improvement project as well as taking care of your home in general. Let's talk about cast iron tubs specifically removing cast iron tubs. Uh, cast iron tubs are fantastic inventions. Uh, there is nothing harder, there's nothing heavier, there's nothing more sturdier than a good cast iron tub. Um, I love to keep them uh, where appropriate. Um, I love to preserve things. Uh, so, so I would suggest just keeping it. If, it, if it's in good condition, keep it, it, it or try to incorporate it into your decor. Um, if, if it's in not so good condition, you could always look at having it resurfaced and getting some extra longevity. But again, there is nothing stronger, nothing longer lasting than a good cast iron tub. However, I totally understand it doesn't always fit the decor. Sometimes it just needs to go for whatever reason, uh, but you want it out. Um, so it's, it's not too bad to break up, um, and I'll show you that in a second here. So here is the cast iron tub that we'll be removing today. It is uh, your standard five foot by roughly uh, three feet tub. Um, pink, uh, made to go with the uh, decor of, uh, my guess would be the, um, the 1930s, but uh, I don't think, after doing some demolition, I don't think this tub was here original to 1930, uh, just because of uh, some of the wood that was uh, surrounding it, some of the nails and, and, and such that they have used don't look quite original to me. So I don't think it's the original tub, especially with the, uh, with the etching at the bottom there. I think that's more of a modern thing. So, however, I just wanna show you guys how to bre best break this up. Now, you can try a Sawzall, and I just wanted to do a little demo here and, and and show you what uh, what the results will be. If you use a thin knife, uh, a thin blade on your sawzall, forget about it. Absolutely forget about it. Um, you can buy a heavy duty for thick metal uh, blades on your sawzall. You won't get much much further than this. Um, you will keep changing blades. Now this is uh, I started with a, a blade that's already been used uh, on some other projects, and then a fresh blade, and it got me to there. And it is already struggling. That is roughly about what uh, two two and a half inches, um, and it is already struggling. Um, so you're just going to keep changing blades. So, but there's a better way to do it. Cast iron. Heavy, strong, but it's brittle. So let's bust this sucker up. Now to take out this cast iron tub, really low tech, not hard at all. All you need is a trusty sledgehammer. Oh yeah. Um, just bring your safety gear and then just whack away at it uh, with, your, with your sledgehammer.
So there you have it. In just just about uh, 10 minutes, a single person could uh, break apart a uh, cast iron tub by themselves. A couple things I do want to mention is um, safety gear like I was wearing. Um, earplugs or earmuffs, a definite uh, plus, but for 100% sure, some kind of eye protection, um, full face shield would be preferable because this stuff could could fly around. Also, be careful with this uh, the ceramic coating on it. You see it uh, how it's uh, just um, flaking off and, and broke off with each with each uh, hammer swing. Um, Looks like there was a lot of life left in this one. Um, but anyway, th this stuff gets really, really sharp, so be careful as you're uh, you're cleaning it up, picking it up. Also, some big pieces, you wanna kind of uh, work the edges and, and break off big pieces, and if a huge chunk breaks off, don't worry about it, because once they're lying on the floor like this, you could just hit them again, and as you saw in the video, uh, they break apart quite easily. So um, you could break these up, and, and it's uh, more manageable to then dispose of it couple ways to dispose is you could bring this to your uh, local scrap yard they might give you a little bit of money for it um, depending on the price of uh, iron and and what exactly uh, um, they're they're paying for it um, or you could uh, just you know pitch it uh, if you have a um, uh, if you have a dumpster you could break it, uh, bring it all in there um, of course you don't have to do this if you have uh, two or more people working for you um, if you have some help, you could just keep the tub whole and throw it in the dumpster. Well, there you go. Oh, and if you haven't already, please click that subscribe button. If you like what you see, give it a thumbs up and leave a comment.